Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas day 25. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate and happy holidays. Um, today's video is gonna be a get ready of me using items that I kinda just forgot about. So yeah, if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos five days a week, but right now I'm doing Vlogmas. So every day in the month of December, I've been uploading a video. And be sure to check it out. My playlist is linked down below. Makeup I'm using is also linked down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So while I'm putting my hair up, I am actually filming this in advance. I have been pre-filming a lot. And um, so I'm not actually like, you know, <laughs> filming over Christmas if I'm being real honest with you guys. But I wanted to make sure I had content up because I said I'd be uploading every day in the month of December. So <laughs> yeah, um, the first item we're gonna go with is the Pure No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. I forgot that I had a sample of this and it was just kind of hanging out in my primer bin. Why not use it? Why, the, why not? I've never, oh, oh that's all oily. No, no. <laughs> um, let's kind of shake this up. Does it say shake before use? Oh, it does. <laughs> I just didn't read it. That was like all oil. Ew. Okay, this feels like it's gonna be a little more of a, oh, that doesn't even look good still. Oh my gosh, this is like liquid highlighter. No, I hate these kind of primers. This is not a blurring primer. This is a, like, can you see it on my hand? This is like a, I'm, I don't wanna use this on my skin. I just, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we're not gonna use the pure one today. I just, I don't know, that just seems like a breakout to me. Um, but what doesn't seem like a breakout is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I kind of forgot that I had this actually when I was digging through my primer jar because I was hoping I maybe like had a new one, like a new primer. And I'm like, oh, let me, let me double check here. Unfortunately, I didn't. <sighs> yeah, this is kind of a more replenishing primer. If you guys can see, I have this little mark on my, on my head. Um, I was changing and I was putting on some workout clothes cause I was gonna work out a couple nights ago. And I put my shirt over my head and I like, no, I was taking my off my shirt and I nicked my head, forehead with my nail. So lucky me. Here we are. We are just going to rub this into the skin. That feels really nice. I need to use this more. Although I don't really use a lot of like nourishing hydrating primers that feel like lotion <laughs> if you guys don't know i have more oily skin so this is not always something that i would use but eh, for today's video why not we're gonna use the tarte face tape foundation i have not used this in a hot minute so thought why the heck not use it today so yeah um i well today is christmas when you guys are seeing this i am really excited um, but today, when I'm filming this, I actually wrapped all of the presents, and it feels really good to get that out of the way, because I've been kind of procrastinating on it, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, so I didn't have to work today. I'm filming this on the 22nd, so I'm kind of giving myself time to, like, you know, upload videos and just kind of get stuff done. I finished baking cookies, and... Yeah, so <laughs> I kind of had a lot to do today, and I look crazy. Please don't mind me. Yeah, I've been kind of, like... <sighs> running around i had to go to the pharmacy and pick up a prescription of mine like i had a lot to do so um yeah i'm just now sitting down to film and oh wrapping i swear i i was trying to wrap earlier today and i was doing it right in this room because that's where i kind of just keep stockpiling all the gifts right and my dogs i spread out a blanket on the ground and every time i spread out a blanket on the ground my dogs think it's like the place to sit which that's great but they were like walking on the wrapping paper and like getting in my face and they thought since i was on the ground this was the time that they they needed to kiss me and all this stuff and i'm like guys please so i had to like lock them out and i actually ended up wrapping their gifts and turns out they don't, it doesn't fit their gifts don't fit in their stockings so oh my gosh i look crazy i have some chapped lips by the way don't mind me i'm gonna cover that up Okay, but anyways, um, so I had to like lock them out and I accidentally squeaked one of their toys pretty loud and I could hear them from the couch, which is like on the other side of this wall over here. And I could hear them like getting off the couch and then they stood outside this door and started whining. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, this is crazy. But um, concealer, 
I totally forgot I had this. This is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Concealer. I have the shade 1.5 Fair. So I think I've only used this like maybe once or twice. Glad I'm doing it again. Oh, that's dark. It doesn't even look that dark on camera. Like the camera's kind of washing it out, but like, <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see this in real life. <gasps> no, I forgot about this. I remember now, the last time I used this, it was too dark, so I didn't use it again. Oh man, I think I'm not going anywhere. Looks like we're not having a brightening effect under the eyes today. <laughs> Holy cow doesn't look too bad on camera either so let's go into powder I don't use this powder very much I don't know why but this is the Anastasia loose setting powder in the shade vanilla this was like a $30 powder you guys I don't know why I don't use it but I need to because I spent a lot of money on it <laughs> so yeah this maybe needs to go in like an ev my next everyday makeup drawer which is gonna be coming after like in January I thought I was going to take time off of YouTube and stuff like after doing Vlogmas, but since I normally uh, film five days a week, I just wouldn't be doing seven days a week. So I think I'm just going to like go business as usual and do my no go back to my normal five days a week. So um, I would like to do like another like monthly like change I think I'm gonna do vlogmas next year like no like doubt about that but I wonder if there's like another one I know Allie Dawson does vlog a ween which is like every day in October you up the upload a video but I don't know let me know if you guys want me to like keep uploading every day like this because it's kind of fun but so I don't use my face palette a lot which I need to um I forgot that I had this one this is the physician's formula all-star face palette I think I paid like, I think this was on sale and I think I got it for like 10 bucks. But it has like butter bronzer, matte Minoy bronzer, which you guys know, I love those two. Has the rose all day petal glow. <laughs> what is wrong with my dogs? Um, the uh, mineral glow pearls, happy booster glow and mood boosting blush. And then the um, pressed, let's see, multicolored pressed powder. So um, I'm gonna use the bronzer today. We're gonna just use some good old butter bronzer. And I really wanna use this blush too. Because I remember like back when I was like in high school, everybody talked about the Happy Booster blushes from Physicians Formula. And me, who just loved watching YouTube, I, I didn't buy them, but I was just like, those are the best blushes around. <laughs> And yeah, all my favorite YouTubers loved them. Like back in the day, I don't know about you guys, but I used to watch a lot of like Ellen Blair Fowler. Um, I still watch Emily Noel 3 but I was like really into her content. Um, who else did I watch? Just trying to think here. I don't know, I can't remember who else I used to watch because I, like once I got to like, I don't know, junior, senior in high school, I kind of stopped watching beauty YouTube. And then I got back into makeup a couple years after that. So I didn't really like, you know, consistently watch it and stuff. But we're gonna go into the Happy Booster blush right here. And it freaks me out when it's like different colors like this because I'm like, what color are you gonna be on the skin? I don't know. But yeah, I saw, I mentioned in a purchaser pass a couple weeks back, but I, we saw that Physicians Formula is coming out with a new palette and I want to try it out. So this is really pretty. I like this a lot. It just looks very smooth. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm actually going to use something different than this today. And I, oh shoot, I wanted to use this blush. Ah, dang it. This is the Morphe 2, um, quad stacker it's like for the for the holiday season and this one I'm just gonna use this blush maybe I could use like a little bit on top why not right we're just having fun here it's a really nice like cranberry shade blush and the um it's in the shade rosy cheeks that's so pretty it look a little like a cranberry tone oh that's really pretty I'm super blushy today <laughs> for bl for a highlighter I Loki, when I was digging through my drawers, I was like, oh my god, I used to love this. And this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Highlight 01. So we're going to use that. This is like a highlighter that's kind of like like a glow from within. 
So yeah, you can pick those up at Sephora. It's and Ulta now because Ulta carries Laura Mercier, which oh, so cool. I want to try more Laura Mercier in 2022. I want to try a lot more makeup in 2022, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, yeah, but I am going to still upload five days a week in 2022, and I'm so excited. So there we go. I think next we're going to do lips. Um, so I found this <laughs> it's a random lip combo, I know. Um, I low-key forgot that I had some Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Mai Tai. Really nice nude, and I think it would go really well with the palette that I decided to use today. So, yeah, it's kind of like a red tone, uh, orangey tone nude. I like how I have Oreo crumbs in my mouth. Um, I was dipping Oreos today in fudge and doing a bunch of stuff. And of course I had to sample one to make sure, you know, it's edible, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, there we go. And then over the top, I found this gloss. I don't remember when I purchased this. I don't know where this came from, but this is the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Tipsy. So it's really pretty, like, isn't that gorgeous? Like, I wanna use it, so. So we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna kind of pink this up just a little bit here. All right, so you are like, someone who has been watching my content for quite some time you guys know i used to love this product this is the tarte busy gal brows it's a tinted brow gel and we're gonna use it today yeah i went through a phase um back in 2020 where i did not fill in my brows and i just used this i think logan's home <laughs> they always get so excited when he comes home it's so funny All right, now that brows are done, I kind of get why I was really into this. I like the way my brows look. And that was super easy too. So for eyeshadow today, I still wanted to use this. Um, I really like this eyeshadow shade. It like looks red, but then it looks like but copper, I don't know. And then I thought, perfect for the holidays. I totally forgot about this, but why not? It's the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. Check it out. Perfect with the lip, am I right? And perfect with this gorgeous eyeshadow. Okay, my dogs are thinking it's the perfect time to get hyper. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should clean my makeup brushes tomorrow. Like, jeez, Anna. My eyeshadow brushes are so dirty. Okay. Now let's go into the shade Plenty of Dough. I'm gonna zoom you up a little more. I was thinking kind of like an orangey look to kind of go with this lip. So that's what I'm gonna plan on doing. There we go. Okay, I really like this. Okay, I think this is gonna be just a, such a beautiful look. So next we are going to go in, let's go to the angled brush. This is a Luxie 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. And I wanna take the shade, hmm. Gingerbread Glam, which is right here. <laughs> I remember when I bought this actually, um, I had just finished working like a nine hour shift and I was, I needed to go to Ulta to get some last minute gifts. I think I need to get something for like my mom. And I saw this palette and it was like half off and I was like, oh my gosh, why not buy something for myself? <laughs> I'm really bad like that when I go Christmas shopping because I'll go places and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I wanted to get my mom something at Ulta. Might as well get myself something at Ulta too. I gotta not do that, but it's so tempting. Let me know if you guys do that as well. There we go. We're just gonna kind of deepening up the outer part of the eye. Next, I wanna hit the lower lash line just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. I've literally, this fun fact, this is one of my first eyeshadow brushes ever. Um, before that I was using like the sponge tip applicators <laughs> and I bought this at Target like long, long, long ago and yeah, really crazy to think about that, right? Let's go into the shade in a pinch, which is this really cute like orangey shade and I'm just going to get it on the tip of the brush and I'm going to kind of smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. Normally I like to kind of match everything, but mismatching is kind of fun too, right? So, I'm just gonna kind of buff this and blend it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with a slightly like really deep shade, kind of like right in here. I don't know why I have this. This is a boxy charm brush, it's gotta go. But anyways, let's take the shade Cookie Call. I need a smaller brush. No, this is not gonna work. Jacqueline Hill for the win, okay. 
Did you guys hear she's redoing her lipsticks? How crazy is that? Like, I'm kind of interested, but like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, okay, we're gonna blend this out a little bit. This looks a little scary. <laughs> Okay, like I gotta blend this out, man. <laughs> Take a big fluffy Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm just gonna kind of diffuse that color out. Yeah, Logan and I are supposed to open presents tomorrow when I'm filming this. It's the 22nd, usually open on the 23rd. And I'm like, you wanna open presents tonight? Cause I spent a long time wrapping them. <laughs> okay, Um. Right, uh, by the way, we're gonna go in the shade Vanilla Wafers, which is gonna go in the brow bone here. But I get so excited to give gifts. It just makes me so happy. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take this, let's see, that's dirty. See, the struggle is you start to get so many dirty brushes that you're like, I don't know if I can find a clean one. We're going to take this um, little brush here, and I want to kind of highlight my inner corner, and I want to take the shade Cookie Cutter, which is this one right here. So I'm going to get it wet with some setting spray here. I'm just going to do a little spritz. Get it on the brush and then we're gonna kind of pop it in right let's see right in here and it kind of has that orangey undertone so it's gonna really match everything so that'll look really really cute oh so cute okay um okay let's go into the morphe stacker we're gonna take this eyeshadow right here this is in the shade glisten and while I'm not always the biggest fan, um, I think Morphe eyeshadows are really hit and miss. These eyeshadows in these little quads are really, really good. So look how shiny that is. I'm just going to apply that right on the eye here. I'm going to need another coat. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous. Okay, I am absolutely loving this. I don't know why, but it's like kind of applying sheer. But like then I still have stuff on my finger. I don't know why that's a thing. But I'm just going in with another layer and then just popping it on my eye. Look how beautiful that is. Oh We're gonna go in with some liner and mascara. So for eyeliner, I have the Essence Eyeliner Pen, which I didn't really realize I had and then I don't really have I don't keep a lot of mascaras open at the same time so I don't really have one that I like forgot about but this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist and we're just gonna use that today you guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed um i really like this look this is so pretty so glamorous it just feels very warm and gingerbready in a way so yeah perfect gingerbread toned eye look i love it so much so yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below I really enjoyed this look and yeah, I am going to be purchasing some new makeup soon. So, um, I will be doing another, like, you know, I'm going to test some new makeup with you guys. We're going to talk about it and I'm so excited. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are in the world, whatever holiday you celebrate. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 26. Bye.